Hello guys, in this video today I would like to show you how to download Candy Core CMS 12 and install on the Windows PC and after that we will run it and edit it in the Visual Studio ok so firstly I set to the candycore.com and click on the download and demo hyperlink click on trial version yeah. So here it will navigate you to the download page of the trial version and you have to provide some the information be before we can get the file. Okay. You can also subscribe to the candy corn in Leicester to get updated otherwise you can leave it by default click on download button yeah so it will take some minutes to get the file from the cloud to the window PC Okay, download is finished, so click on the downloaded file and install it on the Windows PC. Next. Yeah. Here we have two options, fairly quick installation for MVC project and second we have custom installation. I will select the custom installation and here we have to finish three steps. Yeah. We have two options for development tool model, MVC and Porto Engine. So here in in this version of Candico is support for the MVC project. So if you select the MVC option, it will uh, install for two projects. The first project is web form will be using for the the the, the um the admin admin portal and the MVC project will be using for develop the front end page and if you select the portal engine we have only one project I mean one solution in the Visual Studio for the de development yeah it will be in web form so here we select the MVC and you go to the next step here the, the new side so here I will select the dancing watch symbol side. Uh, it will uh, if I select the symbol side. So here it will automatically create some the module and pieces for for this uh, database here. I will open the sequence server. I will copy the east server eastern name. Put it here. And you provide the sequence server account here. I'm using add a provide the password and click on add tablet connection. Yeah. So when you see connected, mean you are able to connect into the sequence server. And you open the sequence server and go to ahead to create new database first. I will name it candy code twelve dancing was and the db. So if you select the 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 the, the dancing was that uh that uh, uh side template, so here it will automatically create the the the, the, the pieces and another modules for you for learning. I think it would be would be great because you are newer. So okay, here finish database creation. So here refresh it, and here we have a blind database okay back to the setup and try to click on add tablet connection again to refresh the data database okay click on override existing database next button here yeah. 
so here for some common you will be select some feature here to register health monitoring and event log and another thing here okay you send me some the information to the candy go here and wait for that the, the installation is done here so here the iteration if you need to successfully okay here so this one is the, the front end page and here is the admin page you, you provide the username so by default we have a administrator account with blind password click on sign in button to get access into the admin page so for the first time login it will take some while to get access okay here so this one is a CMS admin page and this is we have 14 days for the trial version of the new version of candy core you can also see it the license here okay I'll refer it so the dancing was but our website here template it is so good we have we have some the navigation with the article page here here yes so here I will try to edit some the text for the donate earth okay so here you open the pieces and click on article and I will find the, the, the donate to us the donate with us yes and here we have some the session it title summary take okay I will add some the, the take and of the summary session Genitating. okay try to save it first yeah. so here it said there are some the issue occurred the maximum allow for language okay so here seem we have entered the is this a lang length of the summary so here I will try to remove some text here okay cool save it again okay successfully and back to the article page yes so here after you try to refer it we we don't have new new chain updated okay cool so back to the, the the admin page you see here the status is still not published okay so you have to click on publish the button publish button to publish the content and back to the content sheet the iconic green <coughs> Yeah. The tag has been changed. Okay. So here I will try to update the, the tag in the detail. Save it and publish it. Okay. Refat. Yes. The new chain has been updated in the new content. Okay. Good back to home mm. website and we'll okay, close this one you open the internet manager internet information services manager yeah in a default here so here open back we have Catico trial admin and Catico trial dancing was VMVC here so here under the default website it it created two application for Catico admin and also for Catico for red and bed okay and the short code is put it in the for the web, web route yeah so here you can see we have two solution file web app and that's it was mvc i will open it in the visual studio yeah 
So here we don't have permission to open it directly. So we have to provide another permission for Visual Studio in the admin page. Okay. Sorry, we have provided the admin person for Visual Studio to open. Yeah, okay, so if I open the new project, the project, I copy the path. Okay. Web app. So web app here, this is the short code of the web form will be using for the the, the administrator pet if you if we select the portal engine show we have only the CMS web app here it is in the web form in ASP extension of the uh, ASP.NET and here we are select the MVC model. So we have two projects, the web app and the MVC project for for an end page. Okay. This is the MVC solution. Yes. Do the same thing, open it in Visual Studio. Restart with different credential. Yeah, so again we have to open it. Browse to the, 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 the solution file. Okay. Yes. Here we have two projects: the web FVC project and the tech project. I will lap the tech project here, and we have a view for the yes home. This is a view of the FVC website. And he, and I will try to edit some of the, the 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 text here, and it should be uh, re -re uh, it should be uh, uh, have some updates on the for the end page. I will be. I will go ahead to adding some text here. Save it. Okay, back to the website and refresh it. Yeah. So here you can see the text has been added into the page. Chien Vu Hero 1 Yes Okay I will remove it So here That means you are able to op Open the code in the Visual Studio and able to edit it Okay So this one is the controller Code And yeah So here That means you, you can go ahead to write the MVC short course and we add units in another project for MVC here.
we also have model folder here okay it is very easy for learning and writing the new short code I back to the sequence server and try to refresh this and here open the table okay so instead of seeing a blank database so here you can see we have a lot of the table added by the the candy go after you install successfully candy go on the pc local hot okay good So here, there are some features of the Candy Go Content Management Online Marketing, E-Commerce Okay, a lot of things We have uh, the Funnel and also the Admin page for the Candy Go and in the finance we are using the mvc project to handle and in the admin we use the web web form project to handle it okay cool i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to install uh, fully you download the Kettico from the website and after that you install it successfully on the Windows pc for customize uh, option you can and you also know how to create the database for the uh, for, for candy go by using the sequence server okay so after that you know how to edit it the short code in the visual studio okay hope that video will be helpful for you and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later